the mode for continuous series data. This is a continuous series data on the weight in kilograms of 10 children attending the nutritional clinic in Samaru Zaria, Nigeria. We know this to be a continuous series because we can see that the data is grouped and the frequency for each class is provided. So how do we find the mode of this type of data series? Recall that the mode is a measure of central tendency that indicates the most frequent value. So we'll be looking for the most frequent, right? Let us modify this table a bit to make it easier for us to compute the mode. So let's place the weights in kg here and the frequency here. And then we have all the data arranged neatly in a vertical manner like so. Awesome. The mode of continuous series data is given by the formula. Z equals L plus open parenthesis F sub 1 minus F sub 0 divided by 2 times F sub 1 minus F sub 0 minus F sub 2 close parenthesis multiplied by lowercase h. Here, Z represents the mode. L is the lower limit of the modal class. F sub 0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. F sub 1 is the frequency of the modal class. F sub 2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. And H is the size of the class interval. So let us apply this formula to find the mode of this data. First, we need to identify the class with the highest frequency. And this is called the modal class. The highest frequency is here, 7, right? And this belongs to the 5 to 10 kilograms weight class. So this is our modal class. And so the lower limit of the modal class, L, is 5. The frequency of the modal class, F sub 1, is the highest frequency. And we already know that to be 7. The frequency of the class preceding the modal class, F sub 0, is 1. And the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class, F sub 2, is 3. And the size of the class interval, H, is... So if we're using the modal class, the lower limit of the next class minus the lower limit of this class will give us the size of the class interval. That will be 10 minus 5 equals to 5. Awesome. Now let's plug in all these values into the formula. So Z equals L, which is 5, plus open parenthesis F sub 1, which is 7, minus F sub 0, which is 1, divided by 2 times F sub 1, which is 7, minus F sub 0, which is 1, minus F sub 2, which is 3, then close parenthesis and finally multiplied by H, which is 5. Great. So we'll have 5 plus 6 divided by 10 multiplied by 5. That will be 8. So our mode is 8 kilograms. Easy peasy. So this is how to easily compute the mode for continuous series data. Now, if you've gained value with this video, please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues to help them. And if you want to see more awesome statistical videos like this one, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Now, if you want to learn how to compute the median for different series data, check out this video here. And for the mode, check out this other video right here. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.